Hello everybody, the other day I made a tour of my activated indium rig, which I guess now is sadly defunct, but I'm still keeping it because it just looks way too cool. And I'm gonna make a couple of tutorial videos on how to build some of these structures. And today let's start off with the first one and I'm gonna show you how to build this kind of power tower. It's really, really, really simple. The, the most difficult thing about this power tower is getting all the resources in case you're not building in a kind of creative mode. Um, let's start off with the scaffolding. You can do it as high as you please, doesn't really matter. Then we're gonna need cubic room. And let's put, well, as many as we please. I like to also make it look somewhat like something. So let's put a set of nine rooms on here. Like so. And then a whole bunch of batteries are going to go in there. And then we're going to need the glass cubic room and put another one of those here on top. Bam! Then we need the room floor, like so, 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 so. And then we're gonna need uh, solar panels. And you see solar panels snap into place in these cubic rooms. So you can just fill this up, like so. This is actually also a really cool method if you want to build a whole bunch of solar panels and want them to line up. So, for example, now you can delete the, these glass rooms and see, you have a perfect line of solar panels. Well, let's put these back in. I kind of like the idea of having this kind of enclosed structure for all of this okay and of course it's gonna get dark now why i always have this impression and now batteries down here i always have this impression that there's more night than daytime whenever i build something and i might be completely wrong about that still it uh, it's weird so, and then you just fill all of this uh, with batteries. Well, now you don't really need to fill all of it up. Here, half is actually enough. If you really want to be very um, efficient about it, you would check how much power your base really needs. Let's just put down a room here real quick. And... Let's say your base needs like 500 kp, one solar panel provides 50 kp, so you would need 10 solar panels to provide power for your whole base. But that's only during daytime, you would also need to charge batteries during daytime. So you actually need double the amount of solar panels. Instead of 10, you would go for 20. And then you would build 10 batteries. So. You can think of it like this, 10 solar panels power the base while 10 solar panels fill the battery. And then during the night the batteries take over the 10 batteries and power the, the base throughout night time. Again, and then what I often like to do is just take a battery and place it somewhere in my base so it can always access the power grid. And there you pretty much have it. Short and sweet and simple. So you can also see all of the stuff snapped into the rooms also automatically actually connects it. So now from the tower you just need to make a connection to your whatever base parts. And then of course when you want to hire all the and when you want to hide all the wires, you just put this thing somewhere where it's not in the way. And you're good. Now I built this entire activated indium rig in survival. So before the 4.0 updates released and the biggest challenge of that is really managing your resources and always having enough on hand, especially batteries taking 100 condensed carbon is quite expensive because coming by condensed carbon is not as easy as other stuff. Most of the time I just had to get, I, I pretty much had to flatten down a whole forest and then 
refine all of the carbon into condensed carbon. So that's take me quite some time to build actually. So that's it for this part and I will get into all kinds of other stuff in here like these big containers in here that are actually functional those have the storage silos in them and also all of the thing and how that works and it's also functional. Until then enjoy playing the game. What's that sound? Is it this thing? That's an animal, why can't I scan it? There we go. I never encountered this. Gotta get more companion registers. Huh. Interesting. Well, 